A scary experience for a bunch of grade four students from a Midtown Elementary School. The Toronto District School Board says an unknown intruder was able to enter a virtual classroom and expose himself. Questions are now being raised about online safety and why it took the school board nearly a week to alert police. This is disgusting. It's inappropriate. Shouldn't have happened. The virtual assault took place last Tuesday. Students from two classrooms were online at the time and were being led by an occasional teacher. The intruder entered the Zoom classroom while students were doing independent work. Ryan Bird with the TDSB tells me it was a parent who noticed the hacker exposing himself and flagged down the teacher. When it was brought to the teacher's attention, uh, obviously they were uh, kicked off immediately and they talked with the students. We sent home uh, an initial notification to parents uh, of the impact of classes to let them know what happened. We then followed up with staff to remind them about the security and safety features of virtual classrooms. We talked to students in a school-wide assembly about online safety. But that day, police were never called. In fact, it took six days for the school board to file a police report, and that happened on the same day that City News began contacting the TDSB asking questions about the incident. Why did the Toronto District School Board wait to call police? Because what happened was a crime involving children. Uh, agreed. Uh, I think it was a not only a delay in being able to speak to the appropriate staff, but it was a little bit of a misunderstanding. Was it not clear that it was an adult man in this video? Yeah, I think that I think the concern was in the initial communication that people were not aware that it was a man uh, that had done it as opposed to a, a young student. So it was initially treated a bit differently. Uh, but I can tell you once uh, all of the all, all the people essentially got on the same page, understood what had happened, uh, we made sure to immediately notify Toronto Police and Children's Aid Society and they're investigating now. The allegations are disturbing. Uh, we are seeing, you know, more and more of this occurring. The Toronto Police Cyber Unit has now been assigned to this indecent exposure case. And Constable Dave Hopkinson is encouraging everyone who works or does school online to adjust their privacy settings. He says if you're hosting a meeting, only share the ID with the people involved and use a new ID for every meeting. He tells me the so-called Zoom bombing is happening more often and the virtual attacks are becoming more disturbing. It's not just distasteful pictures. We're talking about uh, pictures and video that border on hate crime material, uh, that, that border that are child sexual abuse, pornography. Uh, you know, these images and videos are criminal and we will investigate. Shauna Hunt, City News.